This is problem number one for assessment number eight. It says solve the polynomial inequality. And what they're looking for is they're looking for us to find um, the solutions, basically an interval of solutions uh, for this polynomial here. And now anytime you solve any polynomial inequality, the first step you want to do is you want to get it so that uh, one side is zero. So I think I'm going to subtract the 36x squared to the left side. That gives you 2x to the 4th plus 14x cubed minus 36x squared, less than or equal to 0. Once you get it less than or equal to 0 or greater than or equal to 0, at this point we're going to forget about the inequality sign for just a little bit. We're going to say that 2x to the 4th plus 14x cubed minus 36x squared equals 0. So our goal now is to find the zeros. If we find the zeros of this uh, function, uh, we're going to be able then to determine uh, where, our, where our solutions lie. Do they lie between the roots on the outside of the roots, essentially? So I want to factor out x squared out of each of those terms because I noticed that they all have x terms in them and they have x squared terms in them. So I end up with x squared, 2x squared, plus 14x minus 36 equals 0. Zero product property says that x squared equals 0 or 2x squared plus 14x minus 36 equals 0. That means x equals 0 or, when I take the square root there, I'm going to essentially factor this or at least attempt to. I'm going to divide everything by 2 first and that will give me x squared plus 7x minus uh, 18 equals 0. So x equals 0. Or at this point here, let's see if we can factor this. I know factors of 18 are 9 and 2. So if I make the 9 positive and the 2 negative, that would give me negative 18 and that would give me 7. So I'm going to say x, x, and I have plus 9 and minus 2. And you can see that 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. Uh, 9x minus 2x is the 7x. So we have the same uh, quadratic there. Zero product property again. x plus 9 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0. So x equals negative 9 or x equals 2. So we have x equals 0 or x equal negative 9 or x equal 2. Now at this point, uh, we've basically found the roots. Now we're ready to determine where our solutions are. Now if this were an equal sign, these would be the solutions. But we don't have an equal sign, we have an inequality sign. So that means we have a range of numbers. So we want to draw a number line. Mark it in order, negative 9, 0, 2. And then I want to look to see, are my solutions in between here? Are they on the outside of here? How do I check that? Well, I pick numbers to the left of negative 9. So let's say I pick negative 10. I pick numbers between negative 9 and 0. Let's pick negative 8. We'll be fine. And then let's use 1 between 0 and 2. And let's use three out here. So I'm going to check each of these numbers. Now the easiest way to do this is to use your calculator. If you don't use your calculator to do this, that's fine. It's not a huge issue. You just have to go through by hand, plug them into your original equation. So I'm going to say negative 10, store it as x. And then I'm going to type in the function. So 2x to the fourth plus 14x to the third minus 36x squared. So that'll automatically plug negative 10 in for me. And you notice I get a positive number. Well, that means this would be 2,400. It would say 2,400 less than or equal to zero. Well, that's not true. 
So there are no solutions out here. You can kind of put an X mark there. No solutions out there. So now I can store a negative eight as X. I can then go up, grab this function, and that gives me negative 12, uh, 1280. So negative 1280 is obviously less than zero. So my solutions, some of them occur right in here. I check one, so one stored as X, and then grab that function again, negative 20. So these solutions in here work as well. Finally, I take three and store it as X, grab that function for the last time, 216, that's uh, bigger, or that's, it would say 216 less than or equal to zero, so that's much larger than zero, so that doesn't work. So these do not work here. So where do the solutions lie? Well, they lie from negative nine to two. So the solutions for this problem are negative nine comma two, if you write it in interval notation. And because it's equal, the roots actually work as well. So we can say bracket, bracket, remember this is interval notation. And so our solution is negative 9 to 2.